have he's not more. I mean, he's getting an estimate, but I think we agreed. Like, we're gonna get the cards. Yeah, so squashes. All those generic ones I got from a pound of dice for my birthday like ten years ago. I get, I get, I get. Did I ever tell you about pound of dice? Yes, all the sixes. Well, that was the best pound of dice ever. So I got it. Was it was an assorted pack of polyhedron dice, and in the picture it showed everything, right? Fours, sixes, twelves, twenties, right? Everything. So it comes to my door, I open it up, nothing but D6s. But in their defense, every size, every color, you know, D6s. Oh, deformed, broken. <laughs> They're sorted. They are. And it was polyhedron, Amazing. but nothing but D6s. They are here. Technically correct. <laughs> the best kind of thing. Carrie, but she's outside smoking. One for me. We're not giving her a half length. Is, that was, are you going to show this? This is her. She's the elf. Oh, and uh, then one, the one, one for me. It's even, it's even oh, yeah, yeah, here, here, here. Yeah, I need one. Elf, so. Richard needs one. Whatever it is, probably. Can I tell Trinket Shulk Box? I think I'm not joking. There is one of these has a drunk in it. I don't remember which one. We ordered this. It seems like Chelsea's on board, too. You want the Shulk? That's this one. It's a three player. Matt Make has a tiny one. Yeah, we were in the yellow one and the green one. Oh, right. It's a tip. Bye, man. I really want those yellow ones. Well, it's not Tourette's. I play. You want to get that? I play level two. All right, get it. Do you think I create a scarecrow on my own? And I got to go back to the video evidence on the. um... Sign up for extra. Oh, you're already signed up? Are you on our team? Does that automatically sign up for our team, though? I don't know. I should be collecting money, not just sign up. Oh, here's your character. No, I'm just. Yes. Do you know what? I could sign you up. I don't. You don't have to play. You don't have to pay to play. Charity organization. Okay. No, <laughs> that's not something else. Unfortunately, the broke chick came. That's fine. So there's a few different so things that we're doing extra life at, for. Number oh, one is to life. let everyone so know and to awareness to on what extra life is. Yes. That's so people one. donate to Two is to have fun playing games. So yeah, has Dave told you what extra life is and how we're doing what extra life is? Yes, I do. I do. So it started in Houston. For the Children Hospitals in Houston, a radio dot disc jockey kind of announced it, and yes. he raised a lot of money for the Houston Children Hospital. Yes. And then the miracle, the Children's Miracle Network, got involved, and then it kind of spiraled from there. Right? And we're raising money for chalk, right? Yes, we are. And this is D and D. Have you played D and D before? Never. Excellent. Well, I just learned about it Pull when I chair. met Melissa. Chalk, right? Yeah. Pull up a chair. No, no, no. This is not good. What am I? You're an elf. I here, when you saw the picture. I'm a little confused about this. Okay, so Extra Life is a charity organization. So we told everyone that, like, hey, we're, we're playing for this charity organization this weekend. The the day, I'm not going to be good at, no. We're just saying that. What's this? And from that network. Oh, he always records it so that he can remember what he did. And I have to go back to the to the to the giants to make certain Travis is what Travis is telling me is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to go back to the video. L look, I mean, it was a couple sessions three years ago. Yeah, remember? I remember we broke the dam I, and flooded the, the the giants. It was like a it was like a lodge. Are you comfortable? Yeah. yeah it was like I remember that. I remember that session. Do we need more chairs again, or are we good? I think we need like multiple rows. No, I think we're fine. Are we good? Yeah, we're totally we get good. In here? Okay, yeah. yeah. One more over smell. here. Oh, it's me. It's the smell of success. <laughs> I definitely smelled something. So you're I signed up. Smell. Yes. Yeah, that's me. Carrie, right. did you sign up for extra life? Ah, uh, no. We're raising money. All right. So you don't pay. have to pay though. There's, it's not pay to play. <laughs> Dave is just asking people to sign up. For <laughs> Aren't all games I will ask you for money. What's the level one? Uh, tier one. Tier one. Tier one. Designed for like four level three characters. Are you going to scale? I just tried to auto correct my last name to Bunyans. Are you going to are you going to scale? Because I'm tier two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cody, Cody, who are you playing? Are you playing your um? Yeah. That's how I get them. I got these are from two board games that I bought from them. So Cody's tier two. Tier two. Super Dungeon Explorer. Did you paint them or did they come I painted painted them. They come uh, unpainted, so you have to paint them. Yeah, I thought they could. These so, so that's from the Ninja game and then that's from their oh, original. Yeah. But you're basically with D &D. But the Ninja you... game is like 40 bucks. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. they discontinued it. So it's like, they're not really going to. You can still buy it. They just aren't going to be. Yeah. 
Yeah. But I mean, that's what I want we're the doing. Is that what we're doing? Well, expensive. there's also Team Tuesday. Can yeah. you find Team like, Tuesday on there? Like these are like 15 there? bucks. Really? Oh, Dave's oh, team is actually Team Tuesday. Oh, okay. What do you? Which guy do you have? I don't know. I want. Yeah, I want. Dave gave me I mean, one for free. I know there is. Pretty much, I want them. There's one like this. I would love to have. There's actually one you can get for 20 bucks if you buy their painting kit. It comes with a little female barbarian. Yeah, it was like candy something. He had a ton of them, so he just like handed them out to all of us who were. Yeah, you can buy a lot of the generic ones that don't come. There's a lot that didn't come in the board game that came in their own box. So I use words that have more than one syllable. I know he got. This is what I'm. Polysyllabic. Poly meaning more than one. Yes. Okay. I don't want to be disrespectful. It doesn't. It doesn't ask for the team to register with. Sure. Hey Dad, look at this mini I got. The the oh, holy crap! Holy crap. Holy holy that's a yes. Oh, that's awesome. Your life's it's work a Skeldar. Is tome of battle. And they're basically giant scorpion robots. This is Garden of Fog. So how do I? Okay, so so there's a little. And look uh, at these minis. They're all so so they're strong, so they're so strong, so they're strong, so they're strong, so they're strong themes contained in this adventure. If anyone feels uncomfortable, please point to or indicate with your. X card, oh, letting you... me know that I'm addressing a uncomfortable theme. Can I have <laughs> everywhere with me? There will be no judgment, and we will change the topic. <laughs> All right. Can you, say that again? Can you say that again? If I still have Long team <laughs> warning. <laughs> right. This is the, this is known as the X card me? method. Have you played with the X card yeah. method before? I've heard about I was it. Playing with the all right, well, if I ever hold this up, I'm going to shout six. Okay, I don't play groups with the next card. I always play... Uh, what is groups? It's another system. Another role playing. Yes! But I, I connect everything that card. happens to me to a like grand cosmic plan. Oh, well, yeah, you're a warlock. So, um, you're, you're, discuss you're the topic movie. limits and how to navigate them. Um, so we have children at the table. Fires. We're going to keep it PG. Is everyone comfortable with that? Yes. I will yes. do my best. I will do my best. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable catering to kids. So. <laughs> Because you're I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable with the ex-method. I'm uncomfortable with you being uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable with your ex. Specifically yours. Look at that. Brian? I had a nickel every time I said that to Please roll a d8. I'm uncomfortable with your ex. Adventure roll. Wait, I need to roll a d8. What level are you? I didn't mean it that way, but let's go with it. I'm level two. Your second level? Yeah. What are you playing? Uh, seven. Four, you've got a seven. Uh, Brian. Yes, sir. There's a local Pretty farmer sure named stuff. Jenna. I'm so good. She's incredibly effective. Are you a cleric of some kind? I am not a cleric. Is anyone a cleric? I am a druid, I'm a though. I do a, a, cleric a druid. Really angry. I can. A druid. So you're very familiar with uh, Shantaea, the grain goddess. Who is not, of right. course. And you know Jenna is one of Shantaea's great provisioners. Okay. So she's been running a local garden and farm and, you know, tremendous resource helping the oh, community. Yes. Oh, yes. But lately, a not a lot of material has been coming out of her farm. Mm -hmm. You've missed several shipments. Okay. And you're a little bit concerned. Okay. So you've gathered together a group of your friends, and you're going to head out to Jenna's farm and figure out what's going on. And my character says, I won't stab literally anything I see. Stab What's your character? Uh, violence. Uh, 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 <laughs> where's my character? Cody may, Who know, am I? may know something about the adventure Wait, and be uh, trying yeah. to be subversive before we even start. Character? Ah, thought crime. I, Again, a subversive. I don't have a character. Uh, what, oh, what <laughs> do you, you want a character? A mini. No, no, what? Oh, oh, I'm not supposed to bring my own? Yeah. Oh, no, no. no, we have our own. <laughs> we have so many. <laughs> I just gave her one. Brian. Oh, are you an elf? To... Oh, here, this is a cool elf mini. So everybody, this is a mini that um, Spencer had painted for me that I won at a prior Extra Life event. Oh, that's cool. So these are a bunch of Scotsmen, so... These are probably yeah, one of the best. But my favorite I part know, of them I are the tartan here. patterns, uh, yeah, which are different across know, all of them. And the other one is... And the one right here, you've got yeah, it. Yeah, the term Scotsman oh. is a little... Yeah, mm, so I'm not sure the English feel about that. Scottish descent, please. I have a wife. I think the Scots are still feeling a bit uncomfortable after that failed vote to leave, so I'm going to have to veto that. Wait, is that a Brexit X? It's the X in Brexit. Here. No wonder they okay. can't do it, guys! You need to be talking about a case. What I didn't tell you was my character's name is Boris Johnson. <laughs> so you were so... Yeah, I, I have no proper mini uh, carrying. Uh, Spencer, who are you playing? I use them free... Uh, Spencer, I, have, uh, I use them frequently. I have Halfling Monk. Okay. I just random generated the name Gardo. Gardo? Yeah. And Gardo, as you're walking to Jenna's farm... Gardo. 
Uh, do you have any uh, fears? Like, are you judged by your height, or do you have any flaws that you'd like to share with the party? Some weaknesses or character defects that you might feel are appropriate that we might be able to address during this session? Oh, this was written oh. by a psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and for the record, these um, concerns can be either something for your character or you as a person to address. <laughs> So <laughs> it all goes back to my father. <laughs> this is guarding the fog. <laughs> so, so the, the, the well, he's afraid of gardens. I'm afraid of fog. So this is gonna be real rough. The size of the body indicates nothing of the depth of the spirit. Yes. So I'm pretty sure that Gardo like is like super uncomfortable with his height and like okay. talks about how he's not uncomfortable with his height all the time. Overcompensating right, for his yeah. height. Okay. Um. Wait. What's your? What are you? What, what do you think is my son, monk? What kind of... Oh, oh, the devotion, there we go. I was like, what kind of paladin like is this? Can I, okay. I share my flaw? Yes, please share your flaw with the party. I people and they know a secret that I'm pretty embarrassed, so I can never go back home. What? Oh, man. You can't go home because, because they know I'm a too secret about you? Embarrassment I'm, and shame. <laughs> 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 too real. That's uh, too real. Cool. <laughs> Aiden, what is your class and your race? Okay. Aiden, yeah. class and race. Class and race, Aiden. Class and race, there, buddy. Easy. All right, man. It's it's okay. <laughs> the class is barbarian. <laughs> race is gnome. Gnome <laughs> <laughs> barbarian. barbarian. Oh, yeah. Also, oh, yeah. an intelligent gnome. You kept raging and gnome. cutting down all their yeah. tiny houses. Travis, you're good. You get to Jenna's farm. Mm -hmm. As you approach the farm, you know, Jenna's farm has been, uh, they've employed a lot of people in the community. It's been a very Here's active farm. Uh, it does. You're it looks a little elf. dilapidated, right? The so hedges are not trimmed like you're used to seeing. In fact, the rose garden doesn't have any flowers in it. And you know the that Jenna loves <laughs> Oh, and my character is uncomfortable because he's small and everyone underestimates his height. Okay. Man, we got a lot of this height issue going on here. Yeah, I don't know if this is where we were going to go with the deep dive, but apparently we all have height issues, and as someone is 6'2", i got to say, get on my level. <laughs> I don't um, care about my height. As, as you know. approach the door, you're used to there being, you know, um, people in the garden, people helping. There's no one. The door is open as you approach the door. What do you my do? character pulls out his right beer and takes a ready to action to start stabbing anything that moves. Uh, so the door being open, um, I am going to Actually, I'll just cast Blade Ward as I enter. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I draw a little dwarven symbol. In the uh, in the air, and I walk into the room. What okay, you walk into uh, it's a large like farmhouse, so it's a large you know uh, one story building with many rooms. You've been here before. The main room is a greeting and entry area. Uh, there is no one there, but off to the side you see several people gathered by what you think are the sleeping quarters. Uh, it's two women and a and a older looking um, man in a bright suit of plate mail. That is shining like bright, like it's radiant. His plate mail, but he's a very old-looking man. Do and I recognize any of them? No. The women may have been women that you've seen in the kitchen and working the farm in the past. They look concerned. Um, the uh, farm's in a bad repair. As I came up, what uh, what's been? Please keep your voice down. The mistress has fallen into a bad sleep. We're not sure what's wrong with her. Bad sleep is it? Yes. Of an arcane nature. Um, so, uh. <laughs> Things just. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons! <laughs> Things just got bad, my character the, said. The, the man walks forward and escorts you, uh, Denzel, into, into kind of like the kitchen or like the ante room to the kitchen where a lot of the food, food. is. Got it. Yep. And, he, and he says, Thank you guys for coming. I assume you've received our call for help. We it are... turns out that Jenna appears to have taken very ill, perhaps affected by some uh, outside arcane forces, but it's very unpredictable, and we suspect these external influences may be preying upon her fears. Prior to Jenna falling uh, into Catatonia... I'm not familiar with that country. <laughs> <laughs> it was once Constantinople. She had ah. asked her friends <laughs> to help. And if they had noticed any weight gain or other depression-like symptoms affecting her, I arrived as soon as I can, being called from my local guild of 
Psychomancers. That is the correct one. Knowledge check. Psych to see if anyone's heard of the Psychomancers. Yeah, psycho Psychopaths are bad. Yeah, we're all uncovered. DC 15 wisdom check. Are you the narrator? Oh, really? yeah, You're the dungeon, dungeon master. master. Okay. I got a one. Nineteen. Where's your dice? I don't have dice. So I'm going to do a history oh, check. Oh my God. I am not very Here, historical. Here's a full set of dice. I got ten. So. Yeah, yeah. Psychomancer. Psychomancer. I get that a lot. Psychomancer is a way cooler name than what it's describing. Let me tell you. A bunch of guys are going, what was your relationship with your mother like? These are very pretty dice. Not nearly as awesome as it sounds. Where did those come from? A store. These are very. If anyone wants very pretty dice, if you donate to the campaign today, you get an entry into. A raffle for raffle tickets. I gotta send this to Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> uh, on Wednesday, I think I have, I have dice. enough. So Wait. those of you that made the DC, did you make a DC 15? I got a 19. Wisdom. Oh, wisdom check. I don't know. Okay, he has more dice than I do. Uh, the oh, psychomancers like are a uh, subclass of cleric, basically yes. focused in in mental health. Okay. So they are very attuned oh God, to areas. So <laughs> they have a lot of psychic damage. Then is what I'm hearing. I would totally play that. <laughs> no, uh, um, they're they're more in terms of healing the flesh, like most clerics. They're more focused on healing diseases of the mind. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, <laughs> as a paladin, that's not gonna help well, me on my adventure. Let me let me so I'm, the thing, uh, Thank I'm you. a follower of the Zint Terim organization. And let me just tell you, if Jenna will just pray to the Zinterim, like right. join it, it will solve all the problems. Is, really like, is she a bitch? A yeah. God. Jenna, it's, it's for a political, it's a, a political and economic thing. A lot of people misunderstand <laughs> the diseases of the mind. And what are Jenna's those? Dice. Probably way too many dice. <laughs> 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 so it's it's not uh, unlike combat in other it's areas where dice. praying to a god can relieve it. Often conditions are caused from challenges within. And as a psychomancer, I have the incredible can psychomancer. Psychomancer, I have the amazing ability cool is, to place like this entire this. party in a cool trance dice. and transport you inside her mind this where you can good. help All right, battle stop. her. Right, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I have a question. How much peyote and do I get to keep some when we're done? Also, <laughs> yes. does, does, does my mental you do? reactions go in there so like, if I start share. thinking about some done. bad stuff, does that come into I will be in touch with you while you're there and help guide you through the process of helping Jenna. Okay. okay. But uh, your material, you will feel very much like you feel now. You will have all of your same statistics and materials and items. Okay. And you should be able to somehow piece together what's going on within Jenna and help her recover from this malady. So I'm okay. Awesome. So, is it of a spiritual so, oh, wait, I think I, I, I think I said a malady. So, is it a so spiritual so 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 Basically, we're trying to incept Jenna right now, right? We're trying to incept Jenna. Correct. So as we go further down the levels, like the time is going to get slower and slower. And, well, and we can put, and we can implement a, 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 something into our mind. Correct. Okay. Correct. But it's, it's not, a lot, of the, a lot of the stress that she may be feeling may have been based on drought-like conditions on the farm and other real-world experiences. But because of her condition, dude. even a normal person can be overwhelmed by life and suffer from these kinds of experiences. Right, so this will be my totem. I spin it to see if I'm still awake. Hold on, hold on. Brian, he's preparing to send you into Jenna's mind. There we go. So if it falls over, I know I'm, I'm, I'm still dreaming. Oh, yeah. Anxiety expression. I imagine you guys like never woke up. We're still stuck. Um, so who, what's this guy's name again? The Psychomancer? The Psycho. The Psychomancer's name is... Um, Isn't the word Psycho offensive Figment to begin with? I feel like that's bad, right? Troy. Fig oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> what? If he asked you about my relationship with my mother, Fig I'm Fig going full chaos evil correct. right now. Figment Troy. Troy. Um, and so is, uh, is he human? He's human. He's definitely Barely. an older man you know wearing plate mail. Oh, this is the older man with plate mail. Yes, he's so. taking you away from the room, and he's kind of been talking to you in a kind of... And he's the Psycho. Man, that's an answer. Okay. Um, Excellent. Sounds good. And, uh, no, no, he was pretty <laughs> a big proponent of doing this. <laughs> had, do you have experience doing this before? Like have you done this before? I have, I have helped many, I have I have helped many people through these kinds of conditions. I have never seen it this extreme, so I'm concerned that there may be some external forces at work here. But even a normal person could fall into depression or anxiety. Mm -hmm. It happens to about one in two Americans. 
Question. <laughs> wait, wait. How's America? What's an American? No. <laughs> what, what is this America? He's Most Americans at some point in their life will need to seek the help of a psychomancer. Faye Ruins. Faye Ruins. I'm going to tell you, if I ever go to a psychologist and he's got Faye Ruins like is where we are and in he Forgotten tells you to Realms. Initiative, and throw Faye Ruins? Faye Ruins. Faye Ruins. Are you right in here? <laughs> F A E R U N. F A E R U N. Faye Rune. There's an Unrock. And it's Forgotten Rock. Forgotten Rock. He didn't mean America. Okay, so he's prepared. What are you assigned Would you like to do anything before he says So I am ready. I am here to help. Yes. I'm here to do this. Okay, absolutely. I just prepare myself. As a paladin, have you tried thoughts and prayers? I'm not saying it's the worst idea. I'm just saying I know Lay on Hands. I just give it, give it a little. <laughs> Would you like? You, uh, we can, we can try traditional modes of healing if you'd like. Yeah. Do they? Uh, what do they prescribe? Have you tried I an just... SSRI inhibitor combined with regular <laughs> exercise and a change in diet? Have you tried the dose of Elgis Plus? <laughs> Have you tried Xanax? So Drugs. he's gonna ask Carrie for the entire party to join hands as he begins his yeah, ritual to transport to everyone. Would you like to touch? But that's okay. Would you like to do anything before you join hands? No. So you're no, no. interested? Okay. No. As you as you as you join hands, you feel a magical aura, a force begin to encompass you, and suddenly you feel yourself waking up. Oh boy! Wake me up in an arboreum. Arboreum. It's a it's a it's a glass enclosed uh, greenhouse. Mm -hmm. Okay. In a fog filled space. There's no source of light, but there is so, dim light wait, so pervasive. So you could say that this is a greenhouse gas. <laughs> Listen, I have a parallel I respect the polar bears too much. I'm have to make as you as you come to awareness, you feel very much normal, except for you notice that uh, not only is it very foggy and you're in a greenhouse, the door to the greenhouse mm -hmm. is shattered and broken open. Okay. Which strikes you as odd. The ground is um, you know, earthen ground rock and pebbles, but the garden well you're a druid. I am. It looks very unkempt. Like this greenhouse is not producing fertile, healthy plants. The plants all look like they're dying. The the whole area looks very run down and dilapidated. Yeah. My my character now. Yes. You're uncomfortable with my, my character is extremely uncomfortable with the with the greenhouse. This this is sacrilege. I'm uncomfortable this, this is the is this is the temples of the Christ. druids now. <laughs> I mean secondary <laughs> temples because <laughs> nature is the number one temple, but the greenhouses of taking those nature and and bringing it in and cultivating it and I mean this is like the temple the outside you know outside brought in. Yes. Very uncomfortable you know being a druid that these greenhouses are are kind of defiled. It, it doesn't feel defiled as much as just dis deteriorated. Like, it hasn't been kept up, it's and it's fallen garden. apart on its own. It's it has, it's garden. not being kept up? Yeah, it's abused? more... Abused? Uh, neglected. Neglected. Neglected oh, would be a better word, secret I think. garden. Like, yes. Cody, what would you like to do? Your party's all there. You feel like you're waking up. And I, I, keep, I, I mean, I, I start, I start, I, I start oh. taking care of some of this stuff. And <laughs> you I, start gardening. I start gardening a little bit, and... I'm going to start, I'm going to use a spell song and start searching for... I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start hunting for things to kill. Okay. Yeah. I'm looking for undead, elves, Maybe? orcs. Okay. Anything in those parts. I'm an elf, but you I'm, you don't want to kill me. Pointing to the elf okay. right next to you. I'm like, hey, buddy, I don't need magic, but like right there, like. Mm, he I'm wants to kill elves. Yes, Aiden. Perception check to see if there's any like trails or something Please, that, perception could, check. that could. Please, perception check. That could signify that something was here. Yes. So nine, uh, that's an 11. 11. Might be the 11. So, so from within the greenhouse, from where, you're, from where you're kind of coming to consciousness, you don't see any real obvious tracks, but it looks like it, you can kind of see through the fog outside. It Wait. looks like outside there's a lot more garden and other space. Wait. Perhaps okay. walkways and paths, maybe some fountains and stuff. It looks like it's, you're in the midst of an elaborate garden, but you're in a greenhouse, so it's difficult to perceive what's going the on out there from where you yes. are. Yes, I acknowledge you. It, it, yeah, it's like a greenhouse I'm, that's I'm part like of a bag. garden, maybe, right? Um, like, so from I'm where you're standing, you kind of look out, you can see there's trees, and it looks like tended box planting or planters and things like that. You can't really perceive much what's going on. Spencer, would you like to... Take an action. Uh, yeah, you you said that it was the gate that was all shattered. The yeah, the door to the greenhouse is okay. blown I'd out. I'd like to like inspect the door. Absolutely. Area. Yeah. I rolled the twenty. Oh Next yeah. Roll. It, it looks to I mean an incredible roll. Congratulations. It looks like someone was grabbed Practice. and pulled through the glass. So right. like something like smashed and then pulled through. The glass like, is broken in both directions. Yeah. Pulled from the greenhouse and and there are. 
feet marks, drag marks going outside. As you continue to follow them, there's a you know there's a garden fountain. The water is blackish, right? Grown over. It's not percolating or anything. It's just stale water. The garden paths um, are plentiful. There are lots of paths, but two of them catch your eye. The trail of feet kind of lead to this place, and one path heading um, kind of to the north is covered in like a black tar-like substance. The, I mean, um, spilled asphalt sporadically, but it's a lot. Uh, and it kind of picks up right from where you are. In the other direction, there are um, strange red feathers, rather large um, throughout the path. And it looks like they continue. Both trails lead into kind of an unkempt wooded area. Where you are now by this fountain, it's all garden beds. So tended garden beds, but the plants in the garden beds are unhealthy. Also the light and the, the sun and stuff, there's no direct sunshine at all. It's all yeah. fog. And there is a dark, a deep cloud cover. So, you know, you'll only be able to see about 15 feet. Sorry, Cody, go ahead. Um, okay, I've been doing this for about half an hour. My character will shake a, will shake a magical f nut he has, he, he found in salt, a walking nut. Okay, and what does that do? It sheds bright light in a 10 foot radius and dim light in another 10 foot radius. And I can do the, and it lasts for 10 minutes, and I can reuse this as a, bu as a bonus action on every turn. Okay. It works until the shell is cracked. And are you outside inspecting these trails? Yes. With uh, Gordo? Gordo? Gardo? Yeah, Gardo. Gardo. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just shedding some extra Okay, he light. comes out and starts spreading some light. With the light, you can see that these feathers are very unusual. You've never seen anything like this my before. May my character do a history check Absolutely. to see if it's from anything my yep. character's yep, seen yep. in his Is this like friend books? Yeah. Is this phone a friend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> history check. And the friend is your mom. History check. Twelve. Cody, interestingly enough, you do know that these are from an Arakoa. Arakawa. Yes. Yeah. Arakawa? Okay, please, it's not five. Please, not five. Please, not five. Ah, Arakawa. You know, <laughs> I hate five Arakawa. Do you know why? Are you good? They can summon an arrow. Man. So he's oh. led you to two paths. One is kind of a black asphalt covered splattered mess, and the other one has feathers. I, uh. Let's take a more pretty one. Kind of spinning around. That's fine. Now us pick the more pretty on asphalt I, one. We should split the party. <laughs> yes. You know, that definitely won't lead to all of us getting depressed. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Split the party. What is I the tar made out of? No, we can split the party. You want to inspect it a little bit? I want to inspect oh, the tar. I'm going to get depressed. Fun. I'm uncomfortable with indecision. Mm. I'm uncomfortable with your indecision. <laughs> right. I've decided. Okay. Yeah, I've decided as well. I don't know. Sorry, are we um, tar spattered trail. So it appears to be tar. Tar. Yeah. Tar. Does that make it our target? <laughs> I agree. I think that should be our target way to go. I know. Um, well, let's go for the Eric I feel like it will. Let's uh, pick the more beautiful. Actually, wait. I'm against the foreign oil, so I'm fine with the tar. The that tar could be hell. sickness. Fun! And we are here to. Are we gonna feather yeah. people too? Can we tar and feather? Oh, so one path is feathers. If we have feathers, path is if we have feathers. Oh, I know what that is. So we tar split up. Feather. We get the feathers, yes. we get the tar, and then we find the depression. And then we tar and feather. Yes, it is. You pour tar on someone, cover them in feathers, light them on fire, then throw well, we have to go that then far. oil <laughs> on the feathers. <laughs> that's that is the idea. That's literally My character's name is Rose Pierre, by the way. The he didn't have a name before he does now. Rose Pierre. Rose Pierre. Does Rose Pierre have any specific fears that I should know about? Rose Rose Pierre. He fears the bourgeoisie. Ruling terrible. class, he <laughs> fears nobles. He has a magic privilege, but he, he fears like the other nobles. Yeah, His weapon is a long sword, but it looks like a tiny guillotine. He's very creative on how he uses it. All right. Travis, you want to take an act? So you've kind of lit up. He's lit a large ball mm. of glowing light. You can see these two trails. One tar speckled. The other has some feathers. Can we talk both Do of them? Of tar feather and enemy. Rothgar is a, is a dwarf of action. Okay. Yeah, and uh, torches. He <laughs> is going to take the tarred path. Okay. I do Saying, not, but I have. A, uh, I agree with the druid. Tar indicates decay. Druid. I will also we need to clean this mess up. Yeah. Yes. There could be birds that have been tarred. You know, there could have been a spill. I have some Dawn dish soap. <laughs> That's not good. You can't use that because that breaks it down. Then there's pellets. There's there's bacteria Don't. that we can find that put over this tar that breaks it down naturally. I have Eldritch Blast. I can just blast it. That'll that break fire. God, I don't care for pollution. <laughs> And I will also go the tar path. I, I'm just saying so druids are, druids are like the hippie naturalists of the world. 
But I'm also smart, druid barbarian. I'm smart. Do I they have the druid because I'm smart, so I go into those are more oh, of the. the right, Warlock, you come you're, you're, on the tar path. You begin no? heading down the tar path. All right. path those could be more to wizards. So you, you guys don't walk that far. Yeah. Right? Maybe 200 meters or 200 yards. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm so lost. For six, but it's okay. 600 feet yeah, down the trail. I'm trying to learn. Winding it's into it's a, a um, tree lined area. It looks like these used to be well yeah, manicured fruit trees, but they've become very overgrown. It is a grotto. And as you approach, you see blinking it's fireflies surrounding dice. a three-tiered, really like three these. terraces of grotto mm -hmm. leading down, right? So you're at the top <laughs> level. There are small fireflies buzzing oh, within the grotto. Yep. Each grotto is lined with a bioluminescent succulent. Okay. So there's a, a strange, like a gentle green mm -hmm. glow mm -hmm. surrounding it's the entire area, very, all very three levels of the terrace. At the bottom of the grotto, there is a giant jet black pool which consumes any light that touches it. There are fluffy lounge chairs sloppily arranged around the pool, each occupied by a hazy gray humanoid figure. Oh, and I. So. Going Again, three-tiered grotto. Okay. Right at the bottom, there's a large black pool. Around the pool, there are lawn chairs. From where you're standing at the top, there's terraces and trails leading down. There are sparkling fireflies and a strange green glow surrounding the entire So who actually came with us? Who actually went to I think we did not split the party. Okay. We're all here. Okay, may my character pull out his tongue and swallow a couple, and swallow all the fireflies. Oh, he's a frog. The grung is going to attack the fireflies. I'm just gonna. He's my character is gonna pull out his okay. tongue and just <laughs> lasso a bunch of them on there, and then give me eat an him. attack roll. Are you yes. hungry, Grung? Yes. You. That's a CR5 yes. What are you hungry for? <laughs> it's a Tarask firefly. Right. Oh, fireflies! You. You were able to, to nail the fireflies. Twenty-three. Oh, good You 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 yeah. eat several oh, fireflies, frog, but you're still at the top of the grotto. You have not explored down deeper into this uh, area. All right, I'm gonna. I'm, guess. Gonna, just, I'm gonna go down. To yeah, I'm gonna scroll right see. down. I'm gonna scroll down, just try to see about those guys on the lawn yeah, chair. Okay. Yeah. So you approach the first lawn chair. Yes. Lawn right. chair. What's a lawn chair? Lawn chair. A fluffy lawn chair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it a therapist chair? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, what? No, I just walk up and I walk up and say, "What is that?" Again. And I say, "Excuse me. What is your relationship to your mother like?" There is a smudgy. Gray representation <laughs> of good. Jenna on the chair. <laughs> Jenna's the woman the one we're trying to whose say, mind you're yeah. in. Yeah. So, so there is kind of a cloudy right. gray shape on the chair. Okay. Are we sure she's not playing here? Yeah. Are you sure? I don't even know what I'm doing. Is the black tar give black tar heroin? Does she have a drug addiction problem we also have to address? Because I can't see all of it. I have a question. I think he needs an intervention. I have a question. Yeah, what's up, dude? Okay, well, I haven't gotten any questions, so I'm not important. Did I skip you? You did. No, that's going to happen. That's okay. I'm okay with you. Like to jump in here? Yes. So yes, you, you walk would. down into the grotto. No, 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 no. Okay. And there's the shape of a woman. Is it a fairy grotto? Do we hear owls? There, it is glowing in a strange green. It is a fairy aura. grotto. It an is? unsilly fairy. There is a black pool Evil though, fairies. and fairies are not big fans of light absorbing black pools. No, so unsilly fairy. Oh, unsilly fairy. Yeah. Like and then there's this woman, shape of a woman, a form of a woman laying mm -hmm. on one of these uh, therapeutic chairs. Yes. And she looks over at you with, mm -hmm. um, roll you a d4. You guys do that evil What is that? Titanium white. Uh, four-sided yeah, exactly. die. Yeah. Or a four so it looks like a pyramid. Yes. Pyramid. Yes. The glow Thank you. Pyramid. pyramid. I have that in my hand. Okay. Sun. Roll. Okay. And the bottom number Two. is a? Two. 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 Are we rolling for neuroses? I failed my family. The oh, farm is work. doomed. There's nothing I can do. Oh my gosh. That's... I did or she did. Is that what she's saying to me? That's what she says to oh, you. You okay. take one look at her and you become sad too. I failed. <laughs> Actually, no. you don't own a farm. Uh, this oh, is man, a DC right? 12 wisdom check. Oh my god. So roll the D20. The D20 <laughs> is this one right here. Like roll that and roll a 12. What is this now? This is a wisdom save. What number do you see there? The top the, one? Right here? The one on the top? Four. So that's oh, called a, Dave. Dave. What's that called? Oh. How does the how does she the only, sound? Does she only has a five wisdom. It does sound a little like, echoey. Like a flashback. Like yes. Eeyore, like, like Eeyore from but the Cave. Very, very hopeless. This uh, chair sounds very it sounds hopeless. It sounds hopeless. The chair sounds hopeless, or she? <laughs> but the voice yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The chair. If the chair is talking to me, I have a problem. My problem is is that. 
I have an ice, icy heart. I have no level of compassion or empathy. Uh oh. Oh, for her, for her farm. <laughs> you are the worst person we could have picked for this. Have you tried walking it so off? So are you going to? Like so, so what would you like to say? Um, my character says, "Here, this will save your farms." They throw I, I'd like to encourage Carrie. Wait, what? Uh, because Quick, trying um, to stab the patient. Because you're struggling I'm to respond. Why not? Throw it at her. I'm I would like to encourage my, yes. my oath is to the devotion Ask of the Ask open-ended oath. questions. <laughs> Do no harm. To demonstrate empathy no. and to <laughs> practice validation. Oh. Right. How does that make you feel? Do no harm. Your farm has now been destroyed. I feel like no one understands me and that I'm all alone. My well, weapon. Do you feel hopeless? Yeah. My holy symbol is a stethoscope. <laughs> what do I roll? Same D20. one. You, this is the dice you're going to use the most. Even me, I have a plus three. Wisdom check. So take your 13. wisdom, look at your wisdom score. It says WIS up here at the top. WIS right here. Wait, wait, okay. Well, 12 about, plus one. So you take plus one to whatever your die roll is, the mm -hmm. top number. 12 plus one is 13. It, no one's ever asked me how it's felt before. Thank you so much for being concerned. Oh, you need better I'm friends. I'm not concerned. Oh. <laughs> Why did I think I was oh, honey, concerned? You better friends. I feel like I female skipped dogs. ahead. <laughs> so you, you walk down, you interact with the chair. That's she fine. started talking to the chair. That's fine. You're up. All right. Uh, okay. There are four chairs. Yeah. And there's a black pool. And Cody is eating fireflies. Okay. Uh, let's see here. They're kind of spirity, wispy looking, right? Yes. I'm going to use my divine sense. Do I just sense anything unholy? Or, you know, fey or... Give me a roll. Uh, Arcana check or no? I guess uh, any anything. Within oh, you 50 just feet. Yeah. Yeah. No. You okay. Do not sense anything. Uh, guys, oh I wait. Can't. Anything within fifty feet? Sixty. Sixty feet. The pond. Okay. <laughs> what what exactly are you detecting? Uh, celestial fiend or undead within sixty feet of me. Celestial fiend or undead. Hold on. Uh, I can also detect anything that's been consecrated or desecrated. Desecration in the pond. Okay. So it's not black tar heroin, guys. Sorry. Mm. Damn it. Uh, good, <laughs> bad, bad news, good news. I can't turn the unholy on them. I don't think you can't you can't turn uh, mental illness that easily. Apparently, apparently. <laughs> All right. Um, there are there are three other chairs. So, so I'll go walk up to one of the other chairs. I'm like yes. rubbing my hands together. Do you lay on hands? Just give me one of these. D four. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Ah, uh, three. The wispy figure says. Why can't I do this? Others seem to be able to deal with hardships and get on with their lives. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I pull out a pair of glasses and my, I imagine my character has a big beard and like a little goatee. Yes. And I pull up a seat and I sit down uh, and I pull out a little notepad and I say, uh, uh, so uh, uh, tell me about your personal life. And I suddenly have a German accent even though I wrote here was French, but that's fine. That's fine. We're going to roll with it. Uh-huh. Um, and, and I'm just going to, I just want to like uh, tell her about, um, I want her to tell me about uh, who the other people are that she thinks can can do the things that she thinks she can't. Well, my like, whole who family seems to be able to handle the stress of modern living, but I really seem to be struggling. And as she mm -hmm. begins to talk to you, mm -hmm. a small Paper's light strong. begins yes. to glow, mm -hmm. and the form dissipates. Oh. That's one success. Oh, that's good. I was going to give her a sword and be like, have you tried stabbing your problems? <laughs> Which tell you, as a paladin, it does wonder. I'm surprised you, you weren't going to give her fireball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a paladin. I'm not a wizard. So one success. Have you tried Right. Third level spell slot. They're, she's oh, talking, no, to talking to one of the chairs. <laughs> He's begun talking to one of the chairs, and the, the energy dissipated. It turned into kind of a flash of light and, and moved on. And there's this pod that you have detected some yeah, kind it, of. It appears to be, is it desecrated or consecrated? Desecrated. desecrated. Has okay. anything it's happened to the pod? It has not moved or okay. anything like that. It okay. looks, well, give me a perception check. Um, see um, if you roll something sick, but... <laughs> sick. No, no. Um, offensive. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 11. Brian. Uh, I go up to the pond. Yes. I fight the pond. <laughs> I stab we always take turns stabbing the pond. I can smite it. I do have smite. And um, I don't I have, first I, I can poison the pond. Sword, so we're gonna have I to have, have, have magical fashion, hearts. Right? Maybe they're helpful. You poison. You have right? magic. The Gathering cards that Ryan gave you. <laughs> yeah, can I counter? Let's see them. Where are they? I'm gonna tap two blue <laughs> mana and all the stack counter. They're, they're sacred. <laughs> Mana drain. They're, in my, they're in my sacred spot in my purse. Um, and uh, is there any other couch? Are there any other couches? There, there are. There's two more. Oh, I go to the next couch. Oh, there's an empty one. one. If you want to drag that one over to the other patient. Roll a, roll a D2. I feel like roll a D2. Spencer's on the patio party. I need to I, join. I got a coin. Where's the D2? There you go. My little, my special. I bought this just for this um, location. One, two. Got it. One, two. One, yep. two. Got it. One. One. As you approach I have a uh, of now. the chair, now came with one. the form on the chair says, I don't hurt anymore. I don't feel yeah. anything. I don't even so care magic. enough to care. A D1? That's just one on a piece of paper. 
It's just a line, Kevin. Kevin, do you want to line? Because like, if we're really missing, it's going to be real. <laughs> there you go. You'll never know what the roll is. <laughs> it's a one. It's a 1d1. Yeah. Tell me more about tell me more, when you tell used me. to care. No, no, we have to Oh, did you just sing Greece? Did, did you yes. use you one of Yes, you did. Or how language? That's why she's sad. I, I, what, I would encourage you to use what or how. What or how? Yes. Did yes. you yeah, just use sing Greece? to care? It's never got to but you sing Greece. Or how come? How come, <laughs> uh, how come that, are you yeah, not feeling anymore? No. Life has just become overwhelming. That's like the challenges that, that I face Wait, every day, too? no one yeah, understands them, and I suffer it's alone. It. We don't acknowledge it. We never speak of it. Like You are not it's alone. It's the Indiana oh! Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Wisdom check. <laughs> Wisdom check. I'm going to give you advantage on this one. So why are you not playing? Advantage? Yeah. <laughs> Seven and eight. Oh, well, you're, you're a druid. What's your bonus? Oh, none. I didn't take druid first. <laughs> oh, damn. You know this. Right. You keep like, saying we this. We keep bringing this <laughs> up. I'm going to do a wisdom check. Can I re, re retcon my character? You're switching spots? I'm, I'm going, the druid I'm going to the first, first initiative. <laughs> oh, yeah, Spencer. A uh, 10. I don't get it. It's you don't get it. I told you to roll better earlier. Like. See? <laughs> oh, now that will still be depression. Have you tried to get better? Oh, they changed the D2 design. So as you you lean in, the, the fog is looking at you as if it's seeking some kind of solace or something. But And, and you're it's asking questions, but it, oh, it's they don't make it that cool at all. You know, and, 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 and I think that if you, find, but I finally got him. <laughs> if you acknowledge what Jenna is enduring without judgment or dismissal, it might help. Am I dismissing? I, I don't know. I'm just playing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a psychomancer. I didn't take levels in that. Tony, it's your turn. Do we have a new class that was created in this adventure? It's a class. No, it's not. How was Wait, does it have full features? Like, can I play it in a game? I know. Is it full feature? That would totally play a psychomancer. My character is going to say. Have you ever tried? Oh, what you, who, who, I'm sorry. What are you doing? My Katie? character. You're, you're at the drop. top. You're eating bugs. I'm gonna run down and help. Okay, you're gonna run down and, <laughs> okay, gonna run down and you're gonna assist yeah. Brian at the chair. Yes, my okay, character. Okay, so Brian's Thanks, Cody. Here. Brian is facing the house. chair yeah. of so emptiness. Cody. Cody. My, I, I took a psychomancer to fight Strahd. She's consumed out a by thoughts of sadness and meaninglessness. My character says. Oh, that's unfortunate. Have you ever tried hunting wild animals? And shooting yeah, arrows at him for food? That always cheers me up. Like a oh, Tomb of Annihilation, that'd be a good one. Oh, oh. give me a roll, Cody. Oh, oh okay. Wisdom roll. Yeah, so I've got decent wisdom. Shelter and oh! 13! Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. Cody the Yes! Cody, the emptiness, okay, a so small spark of yellow white light emerges, and a radiant flash, and the chair is empty. Empty. Oh, you're you're, 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 you're still Cody. Cody. One, does the chair get like heavier or like more? <laughs> no, I failed and checking, I get a shame. You're still checking the okay. pond carefully? Yeah. Yeah. Give me a perception check with advantage. Crap out of you. <laughs> like, uh, I like your character. Uh, how does a 14? Okay. There's like, uh, movement in the pond. Like as, as that flash occurred, you. you saw something within the water kind of okay. move a little bit. Not little, not aggressively, but there was definitely movement and it had been uh, still. It did you lose stones or pebbles? Absolutely. You're in a, in a garden, right? Okay. So there's the, gr the ground is rock, uh, I still, and there are also larger pieces of rock that you could take from the fountain and okay. from other I still areas. have my divine We're sense. Do I sense anything when it starts to move? It. Is there anything else it, in there? You've, you've sensed desecration, and it's still there. There's no I think we're supposed to do the chairs next. As he helps the like healing get through all the process chairs. of so it starts to move, yeah. like, heal her. Like, really providing some healthy outlets for her depression, outlets for her depression and anxiety. Yeah, it just go on and lay your I want to pick up a rock and toss it into the pool. Okay, yeah. You throw the rock into the pool. It splashes into the brackish water and looks normal in terms okay. of its interaction. Okay. Nothing nothing bursts out and attacks you or anything like that. Okay, okay, cool. Spencer, there's one chair that one no one's chair, interacted uh, with. Brian, they have seemed to have liberated. She's still talking to a, to a figure on a chair, and then he's throwing rocks into the pond. Excuse me. Okay. Is he skipping the stones? I'm, 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 I just want to go <laughs> to the pond to kind of, like, hunker down and, like, talk just to it. meditate on it. Like, okay. Look at it and Won't you talk see if I feel anything chair. weird about it. Um, give me a DC 12 wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw? Oh. Oh, that's bad. That's not good. That's terrible. Are we just all going to be depressed at the end of this? <laughs> not me. 
<laughs> I can't even read the number. I, I use three no. on the die. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as you as you walk down the stairs Aren't towards the pond, don't you have lucky? You start feeling. Sh it's only for level one. You f start feeling shorter and smaller, and your anxiety about your height seems to become kind of overwhelming. Like you recognize that this garden was built for people much taller than you, with a with a greater sense of <laughs> well being. Height. <laughs> And so as you sit down to meditate, you're really not finding your key spot, right? You're finding this real kind of like... And, and, as, you look, <laughs> and as you look to your friends, your party members... <laughs> <can't> wait, friends. <laughs> you must be this tall to be part of the party. <laughs> you see that the rest of the party all seems to be doing things, <laughs> and you're feeling kind of left out. Um, yeah. uh, may oh, I God, walk up to him? <laughs> right. like the hey, little plaque to tell you the name of the pond is up here. And you got it. Kara, would you like to go again? Uh, or should we move on to Aiden? Are you comfortable? Aiden, you're up. Aiden, you're up. Bring us home. Save the last game. I look to the last chair. Okay, okay. Absolutely. The last chair, there's a there's a ghost-like apparition in the chair. And it says as you approach. You're useless, Jenna. You could have saved the farm, but you were too stupid to figure it out. You're too stupid to fix anything. Grr. Grr. Hey, man. Hey, man. We all fail intelligence checks sometimes. And there's right? a very angry energy coming from the chair. Almost palpable as you approach. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I, I offer her a show. <laughs> <laughs> Has she gone to the dark do? side? Oh, no, I just <laughs> tell, to try to reason with it. Mm. There's a joke to be made there about reasoning with an angry woman, but I'm gonna let it slide. I'm not very good at like this. I'm terrible okay. at stuff like yeah. this. Then why don't you attack her with your battle? <laughs> 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 you know, the only thing I know is You know, I'm gonna be honest, the last okay. time I best friend was really attack. angry, He's I going to recklessly attack. attack. Did you draw your battle action attack? No, no, Are you a barbarian too, no. Aiden? No, yeah, it's a barbarian. Yes. I'm a barbarian druid. Okay. All right, you then, 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 then why don't you make an intelligence check? And we'll <laughs> Does you know intelligence something. check just do something? Yes, okay, roll it. Yeah. Oh, man. Roll it. I can tell you, though. The last time one of my female right. friends was angry. All right. So you I got. So he's going to try to reason with it. Okay. Using his intelligence as a 13. Oh, oh, oh damn. Nice. I think that does it. As you, as you lean in and you say, Aiden, there's uh, nothing to be angry good. about. You tried your best. Chat, yeah. So you, so 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 your gnome, your gnome barbarian uses his great, randomly generated <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> and you see a small light start to form in the middle of the ghost-like figure. And it slowly enlarges as you keep telling her, there's nothing, you were, you did the best you could, you were fine, and suddenly it erupts and disappears. As that occurs, however, and the third chair is liberated from its um, anxiety or depression, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could have called one of my old psych major friends from college. I'm sorry, depression. Run this. There we you, go. You defeat the anger, which is a big part of depression, Aiden. And the seven deadly sins. Uh, we're going to roll initiative as a giant serpent beast erupts. My dark is a finally. Roll the d20. From the. It's a It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. it doesn't get to rise around. Plus, that's on it. And then it says, your. What do you have? Hey! Hey! I don't know where am I looking? Nineteen! Once Nine. the party has finished their so interactions, uh, Seven, Seven. Mm -hmm. Nineteen. DX. No, the DX. DEX. Yeah. And there's a plus number next to it. Sixteen. Ellen. There's a plus number Ellen. next to it. Oh. I think these so are take your plus three. Yeah, that's yeah. your number <laughs> that you roll to the top. Ellen erupts oh, from the pond. And tell Dave that you have an eleven when he asks. A column for it. of starry darkness. I have an eleven. It spits vile invectives at the party and moves to attack. It insults and belittles the party throughout this confrontation, ceasing only when destroyed. Ha, I, I sick myself for it. Hold on, let me get my vicious mockery. We have somebody that's uncomfortable. Uh oh, what happened, Cody? I'm uncomfortable with this monster because it's I'm... not trying to assassinate me. It's it trying is... to depress it's me. It's a huge it's doing serpentine both. snake. It's trying to, get, oh, like, it's trying to kill me. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. Did I have a notebook at some point? I thought I had a... You did? A writing... You did? Um, so only 19 initiative will allow me to Oh, God, the bar pulls up a little loot. You're like, oh, God, no. Anyways, here's Wonderwall. Brian, what's your initiative? Uh, my character. And what's your character's name? I forgot. Uh, Oswald. Oswald. He is clearly Oswald a member of the ruling do. class, and, you're a and this is built in a um, monument Carrie, to bourgeois taste, and I'm uncomfortable with um, that. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. No, 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 no. This is important. Yes, name is important. I don't know a good elf name. What are good elf names? Arwen. No. That's literally an elf name. From Lord of the Rings. That's the best elf that name. That is one of the best. Kyla. You can choose whatever you There's want. There's a random table. Kyla. 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 I like Kyla. Your initiative? What is my initiative? You rolled a d20. <laughs> I, I, I have 11. It's it's an I got an 11. Cody and Sindarin. But 19. Whoa. And what's your character's name? Well, there's three sisters. Octavian <laughs> Seven. That is a great name. Octavian based on the name of the second Roman Empire. Octavian and Octavian. And your Octavian. Octavian. That's why I based on the name of my character. Like that. Where do you, are you going into, are you in fifth or sixth? What's your initiative? I'm um, seven. Oh, I'm six. Seven is your initiative. So what's your character's name again? Valhim Fabulstable. Okay. I'm just gonna go with Valhim. Is that okay? <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Travis, what do we got? Uh, ten, and we Rothgar. Rothgar. Right. Uh, Denzel, what's your guy's name? We got a picture oh, on there too. I'm Let's a see. I'm a tiefling warlock, and my name oh, nice. is Chris. Chris. I, I yeah, see the right. Yeah, no, that's you. That's you. That's you. I was a little younger. Yeah. 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 Not much. Eighteen yes. couple years ago. And of course, I am a Robespierre, and my my initiative is a five. Okay. What kind of halfling are you, Spencer? I am slow to act, but the bourgeois is even So we're going to start him up with a better fake name. Spencer, you're up first. If he's history, one and done. Are you changing his name? Can I change my username? Uh, error. Uh, and do you guys help each other? Do you play together? Spencer and I... I can cast four or four. His wife is a matchmaking One of four. Like, one of the all-time greats. Are we, are, oh, are we doing a Yenta yeah, yeah, yeah. role playing now? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? You're gonna need her skills. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I will say, no, 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 I'm good. Are there rules for Where's Psychomancer? Because I would totally play that in my good D&D game. Me now, you're off the rack. So I mean, you I see this why is it you serpent to death? And he goes to three of an eye looking at me. Let's examine that as my teammate can tell me. It does have humanoid features. So, like this? Yeah. Right, but it's on a starry black. I've done Spencer. I don't know. Oh, eight cool. Years. Tendrils shooting okay. out of the water. Also, within the water, right. other tendrils are what? lurking and murking. What? Right, so right. it looks like you've got a whole I have a, I have layer an encounter know. kind of situation. I've had enough anime conventions. Uh, fear what of is it? Say, I'm, I'm invoking the. Uh, You're just gonna run up and punch her. Okay, give me the what? roll. <laughs> That's all my history. <laughs> oh. Now you're gonna shame me for it. Double X. Double X for making fun of my spirit. Twenty-one is a hit. Well, we're gonna make it a triple X. Hey, I think I discovered a flaw in the system. Eight points of damage. Um, and, uh, there may be a flaw in the system there, Sam. Flurry of blows. It's just the martial arts ability, I think. Okay. Uh, that's a 21 again. Hits. And six points of damage. Six points of damage. So I'm taking a total of 14 as you just run in and kick and karate chop this yeah. thing. Now, do you want to end up in the fountain, or are you standing on the edge of the fountain? So I can send it to my daughter. She's uh, there's a, there's a railing dad. around, or a okay. ledge around the fountain. I, won't I was sitting right what? there, so can I just I like get up and punch it? Can I reach it? Or? Absolutely. absolutely. It's, absolutely. it's, it's yeah. coming yeah. out of the fountain yeah. towards you guys, yeah. and as it comes over, you can easily that. just sock yeah. it, okay? So you're still on dirt. Yeah. thought about okay. it for a second, though. That's 21, round 1, round 20. Oswald. Brian, you're up. Um, wait, wh wait, what is what are their initiatives? Twenty one and twenty. I got twenty. I rolled an eighteen. Right. I had a two. I have you I had at eleven. Two right, you can go dire wolf. Oh, you have a We've got this down to a science now. We do have you this. So dire wolf clearly. Yes. Rage. I, I can't. That's you another can bonus, bonus action. Actions. I can't do it. You I got to do, do it. So dire wolf. Next turn. Dire How far wolf. away am I? Can I get up? I go up next and I attack. Okay, I, so it's a it's a large snake like tendril that shot out of a. It looks like this thing. What does the book do? It's like this so this is the, my creature right here. So I'm a, I'm a druid. I turn into I another. Shape shifted into I shape, shape shift. shift I shape shift. Is cool. oh, I shape shift that. into a dire. Do I shape shift? No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> How's it like feel? in Twilight? Yes. yes exactly. exactly. Like Twilight. <laughs> 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 Bring that up Me a lot. Too. You'll trigger these guys. They will. If you start calling <laughs> Twilight wait, wait, wait. jokes, so wait, 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 team Jacob or team Edward. Suicide. That is my option. So wait, let me let me rethink this. Yeah. So I mean, I don't have a map. So theater of the mind. Yes. So there's a lake in there. There's water between me and the thing. It's a it's a large it the fountain at the bottom of a grotto. It's probably too chewy. So there's a tiered grotto uh -huh. with.
with a fountain yes. one, with yes. a blackish yes. black yes. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. snake. Okay. Found in the dungeon of the Mad the Mage. Okay. Excellent. Can I get They're next to it? Yes. So to the monk is standing you know, next to it. Cool. He was kind of sitting down meditating, yeah. and like, as it went over him, he punched it. Gotcha. So I turned so the wolf. Move down. To the, oh. Turn into the wolf. Yeah. Um, I got call speed of fifty. Like can is it fifty feet away? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Can I get right next to it? You can get right next to it. And I attack. Absolutely. I have a pack attack. Can I wolf after this fight? Yes, you may. Yeah. If he gives. Actually, on top of it, I can be your mount. What? Can I try and I'm a large creature. I, you you can mount me. Try my small boy. Pickle. No barbarian on a dire wolf? No, no, no we've done that. We have a mini for that. No, I just did it so I can get us. A mini for what? Dire wolf being ridden by a gnome barbarian. Cody, I need your sixes. <laughs> mm, I mean, I yeah. I left that one in my other. Your sixes <laughs> tend to be better. <laughs> Actually, there is a super dungeon mini where it's like a little. One of them is like a big wolf being ridden by a little oh, nice. goblin. So that's oh, ten. Oh, that's one of the other adventures. Nice. What I'm missing. Actually, I, I'm assuming that the 19 hits. 19 yeah. hits. Is easy. that fair? And then so a that's a 10 plus. Uh, uh, that's 10 plus 3. That's 13. I'm so not that, raging. That's 13 straight up. It okay. doesn't have legs. Can you try to trip it if it doesn't have legs? Absolutely. Thanks for not letting me knock prone. Awesome. Can you try to knock the ooze prone? No, no, but no, I do get prone. You get a strength, strength, yeah, uh, so 13. Strength saving throw. I'm not sure how Have you, can you knock seen it prone. Monty Python? Yes. DC 13. Now, that's Things a good without point, legs. Richard, though. How does he get prone? Like, what's the Yeah, that's, my, that's what I was asking. He doesn't have legs or a physical body. How do you knock it prone? Do you just slap the ooze into the ground and then we all kick it? I mean, it looks like this. 14. With my death He made scare. a 14, okay. he saves. I do the, it with the, my the, death the, the, the So you, you knock it, and, and it's it's very fluid. So the, the thing would have gone prone, but it just kind of twists and turns and continues his attack charge towards somebody. <laughs> I'm not really sure who I'm attacking. I'm just shooting out of the fountain at somebody. Does it actually attack, or they just use vicious monetary? So it's so round, that. it's 20. Two, Cody, you're standing next to the same chair as Carrie, right? You guys are working together. So and the tire wolf goes. I am going to take a layer action. Oh, net and it's layer action? Yes. And tire wolf zone, no? Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm uh I am the ghost wise halfling. Uh, uh DC I don't have them with. Well, oh no no no! This stout, is a, a stout, a cloud of swarming insects. Is this gonna do poison damage? Uh, Good it's in, uh, poison damage or poison me? If it's poison damage, it is not gonna do poison damage. What is but it you do? need to make a saving throw. It's a DC 15 Constitution saving throw. Carrie, you're standing next to this okay. chair, and suddenly a huge swarm of insects descends upon you. You need you to save. You've got to be kidding me! I got plus three, and I only got an eight. You fail your save. It's a um. DC 15 con save. So D20. So right in, I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I should just be walking. So there's a D20. Okay, this one? Yeah, always keep, the, no, 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 that one. This one, this one. Yeah, yeah. keep that one different. Dice. And then take that number what's ever on top and you're going to add this 13. Plus, plus whatever your modifier is next to that one. One. 14. So you add 14. 14. No, so you, wait, this is a save. So, so you, what was your roll? 13. 13. Oh, you 13. might have a save. Oh, you might have a save. Plus, nope, look at that. Yeah, I don't think you Plus have a con save for that. Oh, so 16. He's 16, a you save. Oh, nice. Oh. Cody, you fail. Cody, you take um, 10 points of piercing damage. Oh, damn. Sorry. Um, Carrie, you take okay. 5 points of piercing okay. damage, and if you end your turn in this cloud of insects, you think you'll take more damage. So you don't want to end your turn. No, 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 I don't want to end my turn. And like, that is its is lair attack on 2019. Yeah. Cody, you're up. Yeah. I will you're the reason baby run out shy. of this. I, can I eat all the bugs in the swarm? Oh. You, you the start eating bugs. bugs. So you don't think this you could eat all of them. It's a huge okay, net. There's no run beholder's eye. Stinging and biting insects. I'll just run away to the beholder. And then I'll fire two arrows You're not a complete idiot. Some parts are obviously missing. It's not an ochre jelly. It's a It's a lengthy. It's a lengthy. Well, it's a new one created for this, apparently. Uh, do you yeah, I can't find my dice. Does it, ha does it actually have Vicious Mockery if it's spewing insults at me? It is, um, it is spewing it? insults. It does not have Vicious Mockery, but it, it does have... Wait, where did my dice go? Is that like a save we have to make to... Some of my it? dice are missing. What's Someone stole my... Someone stole two of my dice. Are you saying that? I have no idea. Are they on the table right there? The guy at the front is Ryan. Yeah, I'm going to shoot two poison arrows. Because I'm trying to remember names better. Two poison arrows. Yeah, I'm going to shoot two poison arrows. Does it um, even have blood to be poisoned? Yes. Oh. It can be poisoned. Um, will a 13 hit? I don't think creating oh, wait, damage immunity poison, poison is the right method to go about this. Damage immunity poison. It does have immunity poison. Yeah, but say, so what's the attack roll? You can't 13. poison depression 13 away. is a miss. That's just alcoholism at that point. Um, 16. <laughs> I offered to 16 buy the music drink. <laughs> Take six 
going to pierce it. Got it. And you've moved further away from the pool? No, I'm heading towards it. Okay. I drop my <laughs> bow onto my shoulder and then I run with my rapiers out now. Got it. So currently we've got it. That was initiative 19. It is now, and Brian, you went. It is now Chris. Denzel, you're up at 18. All right. So I guess I'm standing by one of the chairs. I'm going to just use Eldritch Blast. That okay. Time. Yeah, Warlock. The yeah, classic just, move. But I'm gonna, But while I'm doing that, I'm going to shout, your very existence is an insult to all. Oh, oh yes. we're gonna out insult it. Yeah, I'm gonna out insult I am it. Insult I'm, not I'm gonna I'm gonna shout down the depression. You're awful. You're awful. <laughs> All right. You get a plus, 12, plus, plus five. five. Yeah, plus five. So seventeen. I seventeen is a hit. Right. Sweet. D10. 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 D10 plus three. Where's my D10? Mm, that's yeah. hilarious. That's hilarious. I can't stop laughing. Wait, is that? That's a D8. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> that's a D12. Okay, there we go. That's a D12. I can do that. <laughs> being sarcastic. No, that's a D12. Where's my D10? Whatever. That's count. That'll that's, work. That's, yeah, that's, sure. Get. I accept it. Four, right, four five, plus six, seven. Seven, seven yeah, force. Seven. Got it. Force damage. So you blast it, and uh, and portions of it appear to dissipate into the distance as steam or mist. Right. As and your insult, strangely <laughs> enough, uh, seem to have been very effective against it. Yes! It appears to have disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. <laughs> yes! Yes! My character says. Finally, a fight where I can get my way out just by trash talking. <laughs> It is now its turn. You think it's bad now? Wait till I drop my disc um, crack. <laughs> Lightning bolt on Brian and Spencer. Oh no, this thing is tough. Oh, 100 foot line. I could probably get one of one of one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can probably get one of one other member of the party in the lightning bolt. See, I wish I've had a battle mat. But oh, you're in the mat. lightning bolt as well. All right. It keeps track of where our space is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Normally, you can play with this. Dex saving, Dex saving throw. Oh, oh okay, oh, yes. So I, I saw that on YouTube. Except I'm gonna there's so fine. many people wait, 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 here in the season going for speed. Lightning bolt. Uh, so this is called Theater of the Mind. Okay. It's not as good because you can't tell where we get hit. I know the DC of the lightning bolts. Okay. So DC 12, so you say. So I fail. You fail. I like this because I have. What was the other was person? Could, right. Yeah, you're in the lightning bolts. 14. I can only 14 is a save. Armor right. class. No, that's okay. my. I need a save? Save. DC I gotta 12. roll. Dex save. Hit. I save. Is that your thing, this? Yes. Then you can shout back. You call that a hit. So it's 28 <laughs> 14 if you saved. Is that 28? Yeah. Uh, that's so lightning yeah. bolts. How much? Uh, on a save. 28, 14 if you okay. save. 14 if I saved. I'm not raging, so I take the full. Uh, let's see. Oh, damn. Are you the point uh, keeper? I... Uh, this is my um, oh, hit I'm point. Out. <laughs> You're unconscious? I had exactly 28. Yes. So you have... Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> is everyone at the table okay? <laughs> <laughs> so you have hit points right here. As I'm going down, I'm like, is that all you have? <laughs> <It's terrible. laughs> You know, I'm gonna insult him. I had exactly. So actually, in. I'm gonna do this for them who are not okay. I am raising Hold this on. for those who are not. As okay. I'm going down, I'm gonna insult him. I am paying him, my that's, respect. That's Can I take this with out. me? I, we're all uncomfortable. Can I take this with me? <laughs> Can I take this? No, no, no. no. Boss yells at me. I need. I feel like uh, I need this um, in like light. That's right. his turn. It is. You <laughs> need to go around Xing people. Eleven. Carrie, it's your turn. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, this is a lot of pressure. Character. Yes. Wait, did you insult it, but why are you... Yeah, okay, no, as I'm going hey, down... Hey, Cody, tell, Travis, you're on deck. Cody, she tell. Say, what's help. the difference between a dragon and a mountain uh, coal? This one? One's a sick duck, and I forgot the punchline, but your Wait. mother's a whore. <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> so the paladin's unconscious. You could try to heal. <laughs> Wait, am I healing? His mother healing. was very nice. Am I healing? Lady. Like twishing on the ground. Does anyone have any healing for the paladin? No. I got healed, but I, I, I got I gotta change. I can mend his armor. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Pound it out a little yeah. bit, you know. Uh, I'm okay at medicine. Richard, are you really? <laughs> I had a good karma for the medicine. dragon horn. Um, where is your spell? Set? I had exactly okay. hit point. Fire magic missile. Fire! I'm gonna fire magic missile. All right. So where are you in relationship to this tendril firing out of the pond? Oh, I'm front row, right. ra okay. rail. So you're on the I'm second on the rail. tier, right where it's coming towards yes. you. Okay, and you're going to cast Magic Missile. Yes. So at what level are you casting it? First. First, First level. First level. So 3d4 I used, I used four plus 3. 3d4 plus 3, thank you. Use this if you can. Okay, so you have 9 and then it's 12. 12 points of damage. Okay. So three bolts of Eldritch Magic blast into the creature. Pieces of which fly off yes. and turn into mist and fade. Okay. Woo! As this occurs, you also start to sense, like, 
maybe not sunlight, but the fog is kind of thinning, and you mm. sense a, a lightness to the area okay. as the even the brackish water starts to clear, and you can see this pebbles and other stones me. underneath the water. Dad, and I pressure. see this, and, and the druid gets happier. And, and sees nature returning to this oh. desolate place. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. So why does the bench start pressing? Yes. Um, <laughs> Would you like to insult the monster? Because we have a table for that. Seriously, too. yeah, no. We're, Travis, we're you're up. <laughs> All right. Rothgar. Aiden, you're on deck. Thank Rothgar with help. shield in his left hand. Yes. Yeah. Free hand. Reaches into a pouch. Okay. And pulls out a tiny clay fist. All, All right. right. And says, with chameleon skin and wasp wing, I cast. Maximilian's earthen grass. Okay. And um, a uh, five foot wide fist of earth bursts out of the pond and uh, tries to grasp okay. the stalk of, of the thing. It makes a strength saving. Okay, oh, I did not tough. roll well. I did not roll well. <laughs> earth bend that. Uh, uh, I'm Don't at an eight. It. No, okay, so you fail. You take 2d6. Nice. Uh, bludgeoning Who's damage, and you are restrained. <gasps> okay. So you take five bludgeoning damage. Adventure? And you're five. restrained. And how do I end the restraint? Um, on your, your turn. Where, where did it go? It was right here. On your turn, um, you could use your action to make another strength save to try to break out. Okay, let me see here. And restrain means you have disadvantage on attacks, and everyone has advantage on attacks against you. Oh, nice. And you can't move. Got well, it. you're really moving from the pond. Yeah. I, no, he was. It's a, it's a tendril. Oh, oh, it's a okay, snake-like okay. tendril that okay. shot out of the oh, water. So your, your you're 72. Can I charge? Zero. Uh, Aiden, it's your right. turn. I go into rage and okay. I'm going to insult Richard Richard Richard. Richard. Fantastic. Right. Uh, now you're pretty at hero next. Oh, I'm only oh, you're rolling now the insult. Now I'm at 13. This is good. Yeah. You got it. Insult is a free action. Okay. Can, I, can I do my insult? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. All right. Insult. That's That's insult um, away. I encourage yeah. insulting. Everyone, please be okay. quiet. Yeah. We're listening. We're listening. Hey, depression. Your mom is so fast, she depresses anyone within a thousand foot radius. That is right. Yes. 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 You get it. Get a, that was good. Get a you get a mama so <laughs> okay, so mama joke. Your attack. As I'm lying on the ground, I flash my thumbs up. Good job, buddy. You have advantage. Oh, <laughs> you know, good mama. <laughs> your mama. Like, good job, buddy. Oh, my hair's I all standing on end. That's a twenty. That's a crit. Woo! Right. Woo! No. Oh. Man, what are we Melissa? attacking with? The no Melissa? more barrier as a battle axe. It's a battle axe. Of course, she does. So a twelve. Roll again. Twelve. Roll it again. Get another. It could be crit. Roll another twelve. Roll it again. Oh! So 24 plus, oh, strength, plus, plus two. two plus two. two. So 28 points of damage. That, 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 Mac that, 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 from the terrace, you run not, down, jumping nice. off the dire wolf's back yeah. <laughs> with your battle axe. You slice through Elinda. Water just splashes back onto the pond as a beam of pure sunlight comes down and illuminates the lake as he is killed and destroyed. Woo! That insult destroyed him. Yes. That's why we're clapping for oh, it. It was yes. It was yes. the yes. Mac Damage Barbarian yes. is doing work. Right. Yes. 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 And then my turn goes around and I will just blast the guy on the ground. But we need knuckles. We need to fist pop. The bird. In your celebration, as you land and you stick the landing, you look over and you see your friend the paladin. Bleeding on the ground. I'm twitching. Run I'm yes, it is. I will me. run up to him. All right, and I will run over to I will him. Run and up to him. Like medicine check. Medicine check. I point and laugh okay. at him. Medicine oh, check. You need to make a death save. Okay. Okay. Medicine check. All right. Help. So nine. So I can is help. It? I can um, yes, absolutely. No, I can do this. I can do this. You're getting it. Just give me a second. My character pulls out two. To oh. magnetically charged rocks. <laughs> you don't know. Like you can't layer. stop the bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, I, I guess I'll just do a default. Yeah. I, my character just okay. starts to read a default answer. And I'm just going to put... I just get rid of two rocks. That's so crazy. Cure light wounds. To help. Cure light wounds? Okay. Yeah, Wait. onto the pound in the second level. Roll your healer. Here, here, here are your rocks. No, no, I'm going to have rocks. Why do you have rocks? We can't have props. Like, no, I'm like... You know, cure light wounds instead. So there's a difference between the purpose and what we're doing. Okay. We'll talk about that later. Okay. So I thought I was box. contributing gonna, something. I thought you were doing good. I thought I was contributing. <laughs> no, you were. You were. I'm trying. Ten what? points of damage. Um, all right. I did not mean back to give it your contribution. But I was with it. I was okay, theater of mind. I was, we're I was with it. How much healing was it, Cody? Ten. So I'm at ten. Sorry, you're, you're, you're conscious. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. No. I think there's an end thing. 
Cody also likes what's awesome. I like the I like Cody. brightens. Cody's and my the new friend. The trail leading oh, away God. is revealed. Wait. This is the trail with the uh, oh, red honey, feathers. Okay. You see that those feathers from where you are as the sunlight fills the grotto, those feathers spread out all throughout the trail that comes out of the grotto and you notice that the feathers uh, lead in all directions uh, but as you you, you know just one path seems them. to be have more feathers than others okay um would you like another ceiling no nah, i got it if i lay on hand by slapping myself in the face i got it all right i'm good 15 hit points let's do this <laughs> i feel better <laughs> Good. From there, the party may return to the Arboretum and pursue anxiety, or if this is completely <laughs> kidding. Okay. Pursue so, yeah, Presume, per pursue anxiety, <laughs> or you, that's just life. destroy <laughs> anxiety. <laughs> you go down the path to pursue anxiety, you do a bunch of bills, and you're just like, oh, God, Woody what do you Allen. do? Great. <laughs> you give you a college debt paper, and you're like, oh, no. The trail of mangy red feathers leads to a hollow of trees with bloody bark, <laughs> Bird can't drooping get blackened leaves, and skin-tearing briars. Shadows jump and flicker as the air grows warm and suffocating. The unmistakable tingle of tiny legs on flesh assaults your senses as the leaves and boughs bear down all around you. Frustrated <laughs> crying, punctuated by guttural cackling, can be heard uh, up ahead. Florida? Cackling. Oh God, we're in Florida. My grandma, All right, I, was my grandma I know what to do. Heifer. I need meth and an alligator. <laughs> that was his no go-to. Told her to and shut her pie hole. You cackling. Okay, what now? It's coming to the base you. of Florida. Confused. <laughs> Aiden, what? I'm clearly your mouth now. <laughs> Wait, what? You're okay. clearly riding the dire wolf. Yes. With, with hands. Right? Onward, my steed. Yes. We will go on many great adventures together. Many. We will yes. be known as Fabul Stable and the Oswald the Dire Wolf. Yes. yes. Also known as Oswald. Huzzah! Oswald the unagreeable. Oh, we can do that better. One more time. I think that was right. Yes. <laughs> that was exactly as cool as it looked. My character in the back, I'm like, yeah, can no. Can you make sure that he's wearing pants? <laughs> can you make sure he's wearing pants? The wolf? No, 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 no. The wolf. The wolf. The, we need a we, Reddit thing. Pants are not required. What are the mechanics we don't require on the clothes pants. of the right. droop? Pants are optional. 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 All right, good to know. Underwear. Well, then also <laughs> moss. Yes, underwear are you know, necessity, but their, their pants are optional. Pants or whatever mine is moss. Okay. okay. Characters, at least so, because I come from the swamp lands as a halfling, so. Is your instrument the banjo? My instrument. Can I start default dancing yet? Why do you think I hang around with the group? I have a piccolo. Can I have a piccolo? Do I get an instrument? Yes! I want a piccolo. Can I have a piccolo? Synchronization. Wait, you're a bard? Wait, wait, wait. Can you shoot this? I'm an elf. The Saka Saka. Wait, what else? Her background. Why do you have a piccolo? Her background is like the entertainer background. I want a piccolo. You can have a piccolo. Yeah, you got an instrument. I want a piccolo. I want a piccolo. Are you playing the piccolo? I'm going to play the piccolo. What kind? So. Can I have a Zizzery do back? So I play. Is this, this a dirge like piccolo song or is this a chipper up piccolo song as you approach the fields of anxiety? It's Yankee Doodle. No, 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 no. <laughs> that gives me anxiety. <laughs> I'm not even British. <laughs> So right now, I'm just kind of going into it right now for you. <laughs> so we have personality and backgrounds in here, right? So you talk about your different backgrounds. You're one of the backgrounds, but you have your backrounds. She should. It should be on oh, the yeah, sheet. Wait, I have a background. I'm a sage. Oh, this is good. So you're not, you don't have a pickle with a monkey tail. Oh, you're a sage. I'm a instead. serious student of all forms of combat. Despite this, despite my studious nature, I am aware that there are limits to practice and, si and simulation. It is time to conduct some real-world application of your deadly art. Adventuring oh, companions. Cool. I'm right. Are usually the type who will need a steady hand and quick wits to bail them out. Often, thankfully, you have both to spare. My you know, character says. Like? Next week we go to the land of that's dreams and joy. No, because it's the outlander. That's an outlander. Says, that's not you. Oh, sage, are you ready for a sage? Yeah. Yes, I am a sage. I need a picture no, of this. Hurry. I don't need one. <laughs> 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 and that's an elf sage. That's yes. actually pretty solid. The dwarf solid. continues on. I'm an elf yeah. sage. Yes. What is the dwarf's it's greatest common. fear? Yes. I'm not sure I captured that. It's pretty solid. So I can't play a piccolo. His what can I play fear. then? I don't know. My it doesn't look like she has an instrument. Sorry. It's hard. Okay. Well, that's okay. It's okay. It essentially a magical rock. Uh, I think it's definitely <laughs> filled with the disappointment that he became a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a scroll right here. Oh. 
as you enter yes. the grove. Mm. That's well, that's because my power is self improvement through knowledge. So of course I would have a stern scroll. countenance and a gray beard. This is good. Oh no. Oh, he's a gray beard. Materializes. Yeah, well, give me actually everyone, give me a perception check. Uh, as, as you guys are walking I have in, a passive perception. fourteen. Okay, no, no, there's a, you're actually like looking around. Seventeen. Eleven. Fourteen. Eleven. I don't see. Crap. Sixteen. And add your wisdom. What's yeah. your wisdom? Eleven. Plus my, one. Plus one. Fifteen. Nineteen. Eleven. Fifteen. I got eighteen. Okay. Plus two, so I got I got a seventeen. As you as you approach, you're you're kind of chatting with the dwarf, you know, checking things out, watching the feathers. Oh. Uh, Suddenly, um, you see what epic. what appears to be maybe a small trinket. Okay. Dance across the earth and erupt into this large dwarf like figure. Uh, the anxiety personification uh, will Please. attack you with corrosive thoughts. Um, <laughs> I'm going to send these to also insults. <laughs> like I need a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> are you what level weakest. are you guys? Uh, three? three? Well, level three. Oh, I'm level four. Bad. <laughs> I should have brought my old warlock, my level seven warlock with the elephant. The elephant's in your head now too. I love that you're what playing Richard too. It stomps on it. No. I definitely fail. Um, it's very low. Wait, you're gonna you take the 18 thing? points of corrosive thought damage. So is that psychic or is it corrosive? And your 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 just anxieties are personified, and you're at disadvantage on everything. Is this supposed to be difficult? Is it? Is this the whole thing that it's hard to fight your mental illness? Because if the thing is I can't hit it hard enough, let me tell you, there are way easier ways I could have done this. You guys walked through the first encounter pretty easily. You you have overcome. I'm charred. <laughs> you walked through it easily. I'm like depression like, fairly yeah. shatters through my arcane ward. Yes. And does damage to me. Oh, oh my no. gosh! But you're still conscious. You're good. I right. got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Take more than that. I was a little worried. I'm like, 18 seems pretty hard. Okay. Let's roll a. What? Did everyone comfortable staying in the same initiative order we had last time? Yes, I think. Just yes. to save time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So first up is going to be Spencer. Spencer, another trinket comes dancing across the ground, and just a giant beanstalk of a man erupts in front of you. Cody. <laughs> and Cody. And so Cody. Five, and again, oh god! And again, your anxiety of being seen as short right. is is just damn it! Like you just why are all of you just afraid of like tall people? Your, like a, <laughs> I'm afraid. Your whole, it's like it's like I an emo, your, your whole Am I afraid I'm afraid being feels like it's stuck in its toe like as this creature appears. Because I can't kill him with a sword. I fear things I can't so catch. That's, that's, like, that's I assume like coming up like in front of me. Yeah, it, it actually just kind of like yeah, a trinket cool. dances across Please the ground and it appears right in front of you, and it looks like it's leaning into bite or attack okay. you. Yeah, so I was about to charge that one, but I'll switch targets. Correct. You'll you'll so, confront your own anxiety, um, and I will. Uh, <laughs> ah, really? Is that easy? What do you confront? I'll just target my anxiety. I'll just so call. I'll, I'll, uh, there's no charge uh, action. Yeah, there is no charge action. Welcome to my session. Will initiative. Yeah, right. Why you guess as a wizard? Listen, dress for the gum you want, not the gum you have. And I roll seven, initiative. Seven points of damage. Yeah, and I'm gonna floor your blows. Okay. So first, I had, I had a very awkward conversation with my boss. When Twenty. I in with Twenty. All the ads. Hits. <laughs> Just for a job you want, not the job you have. Like, it was a one five. Five points of damage. Second flurry. See, I, I did that too, and then he oh. freaked out. Batman, awesome. I can see the crap yeah. out of him. So you run up and you what, sock it you? easily yeah. the first two times, but then you go for your kick. And it turns out that his, it's too high. You can't kick that high. Oh! <laughs> oh. Insult to injury. Right, well, so if I, uh, um, if I, I succeed with any of my <laughs> too soon. Yes, so I can Cody, can I sharpen this? Okay. I okay. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll see if Ryan has a sharpener. Okay. I rolled a three on the die, so I failed. Right. I want to bring it down to my height. I can fight it now. I'll remember it next time. <laughs> you, you knock it prone, or he switches down. Your fear just compresses. Okay. Uh, that's a 21. 20 is Brian. Brian, you're up. I'm up? Yep. Right. Sure, Brian. Oh, thank you. Good. All right. Brian, I don't think I captured your... So I have two hours in what? wild form. I'm assuming this was not two hours since our last encounter. No. Correct. No, no. This is like 15 minutes. But Oswald, I don't have your um, fear. deepest fear. My deepest fear? Yeah, or anxiety. anxiety. My deepest fear or anxiety? Did they give you a pencil shirt? Yes. We can't all be afraid of heights, guys. <laughs> my hair is afraid of things I can't kill with my sword. So my biggest I'm fear... It works. No. Spiders. <laughs> spiders? Okay. Definitely spiders. Oh, Thanks, Richard. Uh, Wait, scorpion uh, spiders? Oh no. Lava I spiders. Can't about scorpion no, not lava. Spiders. Spiders. Uh, phase spiders. Phase spiders. Clearly phase or spiders. Or edder caps. <laughs> or edder caps. Edder caps. Thanks, Richard. Okay, so... um. 
Brian, you're 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 being ridden by the gnome barbarian. Yeah. There is a large mount, dwarven here. figure and aberration. Okay. There is in. also you're a. My, I'm your mount. There is also a a large thin blue stock like <laughs> aberration that's been knocked prone. I'm scared of a nice bottle of champagne and a hug. Uh, so I am riding up. You're you're uh, you're you're in melee, right? You're in melee. Yeah, so I'm going. And he's not that one prone. Anxiety. Also prone, my anxiety. Just prone. To, you yeah. need to hit on that girl. So as long as you melee, I still get advantage. So it doesn't matter. So I'm going up attacking. Cody, do I want your d6s or my d6s is fine? Your d6s were rolling good. What do you think? I only need four hours to meditate. That's it. That's all you need. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm golden. <laughs> ah! Um, Don't worry, shoot, I'm 16. Is a 16 hit? 16 <laughs> is a hit. Nice. And that's 7. Um, oh, wait. First of all, I, I, um, I rage. Rage on. Yeah. Okay. Rage on. Rage so, on. what's that? Yeah, I love that Led Zeppelin song. What's your anxiety? Yeah. Economics? This is stock plunging. You're just like, no, my 401k. So that's seven. <laughs> <laughs> what? So that's seven plus five. That's 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage? What Strength you check. Uh, that was the only one there. One animal? Mortgages and then passed it around. There, there are two lending. targets. One formed right in front of him. The other formed right in front of him. I'm the one right in front of him. Correct. Hard target attack. Right. And you 12 points of biting damage? Yeah, bite. <laughs> And that's it? That's Do it. Do I need to make a strike save or anything like that? He's already prone. He's can, already he get, prone. can he go prone twice? My There's no double was prone. afraid of a failing marriage. What is the <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we can go, it looks almost like dead. No way to very close to death. <laughs> and then I'm raging. Okay, you're raging. Very interesting. So I'm resistant, nice and I got plus two in damage. I added plus two, 14 armor. Oh, okay, uh, layer action. Uh, uh, Fred of my lucky reel on that one. Oh, uh, yeah. Molten rock eruption of point on the ground. Can you can see within 120 feet of it, creating 20 foot high. Five foot radius geyser. Each creature in the geyser's area. Uh, five foot radius, which is not much. No, it's not much. Must make so a DC 15 deck save or take that. Okay, so how many people are here? Three D six. Oh, there's so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three. One, two, three. How's the sharpener, four, five, six. Cody. What? Spencer. Six, seven, and Brian, I need you guys to make a DC 15 deck save. With advantage? No. Um, the ground is erupting beneath you. I did not make it. Oh, 10. DC what? 15. I'm having a bad day. No, you're not. You're doing great. No, I'm I'm landing on. I'm storming. Oh wait, my character has position of privilege. Maybe I should be I think afraid you're doing of the proletariat. Good. So <laughs> I'm looking for my saving throws. For my oh saving my throws, God. I'll just add my bonus on it. So that's uh, 13. Start singing the Thirteen's a fail. The Twenty-one like points of fire down. damage. <laughs> Little kid, guys. 21 I'm fire. I'm the one 21 that's, I have to fight fire. the little kid when they miss a rob. I'm rolling my one for the last one before I die. Absolutely. No. <laughs> I smite the cow from the miss a rob. Uh, that would be a 17 on that last so, flurry of blows instead of a one. Oh, the damage. So that's a hit. Uh, only five points of damage. But that kills it. Oh, okay. So the, the prone apparition is actually killed as Brian bites into it. It takes more kicking damage from the mm. furious monk. Wait. <laughs> 21 points of fire damage. Right. So Molten. Me at negative one eleven. <laughs> negative eleven? Wait, how many damage? Much you guys have? How much I fire damage? We're okay. okay. level three. Not a lot. Twenty-one points of damage. Oh, this is that's brutal. We're level three. I know. <laughs> You said not bring my level seven <laughs> warlock. Let me tell you, he would have had this down pat. What okay, that so that's that's initiative order twenty layer action. It's yes. now nineteen. Cody, you're up. Yes. My biggest fear is things I can't kill with a sword. Okay. Oh, <laughs> buddy. Specifically with a sword. Minute. That's how we're going to get it. Sword, we're gonna, a bow, an arrow, we're gonna, anything. We're going to get it with a technicality. We're going to give him a knife. It's a gals. small sword. We're going to tell him to go get it. See what I mean? Yes. Basically, anything that I can't kill, kill. Okay. I glitches. Kill, kill. Love. By you that, I mean, like. <laughs> Dead can't come back. Oh, my fear okay. is global. Oh, my. My There's one large <laughs> dwarven aberration. I will charge it. Okay. And I will swing at it three times. Two times is my main hand rapier, which is my left one. Okay. Giant dwarf isn't really. And can't the offhand one <gasps> once. Got it. And I fumbled the half one. Oh, wait, I rolled some d sixes. Oops. Sorry. Well, your short sword's a d6, so that extra axe. 
No, no, I'm using right here. Oh. First hit, I know it misses. Okay. One. No, I am. You. Um, the I second like an eight. attack <laughs> roll is in. You might have to dismount though, Aiden. What is it? Well, an 11 hit. 11's a miss. Um, and then the final one is a 23. That's that a hit. hit. Yes. And Aiden, Take you might have to dismount and go to the other one in front of your dad. And do it and make a con saving. Spot. Yeah, but I have a fear too. Six. Of being Six dismounted. It fails. <laughs> Um, and wait, it, it takes it five points of poison damage and is <laughs> Your poisoned to be the disadvantage on it. No, I don't have a rider! No, okay. 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 It's a pretty we, rad we, mount, though, a dire wolf. fear, but fear itself. So how does that can manifest? Can we charge up? Oh, I fear nothing. Together? We oh, no, can. Wait, wait, wait. So, so, <laughs> so yours would just be nothing? What? Yours would you just can give me nothing. help action. Oh, okay. Your fear is nothing. It's just action. like you go into a and there's just nothing. No, because I go into a meditative like, trance state, I just doing so I don't have to fear anything. I I, I just meditate. Rage again. Rage again. Well, he can give me do a help. Action. Denzel, you're because I'm only semi-conscious when I'm meditating. And then carry your on deck after Denzel's done. Why oh boy. Okay. okay, so there are there's one large. Uh, dwarven-like aberration figure. Okay. What is your fear? Do I already have your fear? I don't think so. Okay. 15, 2, 15, 4, 15, 6, 15, 8. Cody, what an elf's fear? That's so awesome. Chris, right? This elves? Is Chris. Yeah. Chris or, um, or mm, let me think. username. Yeah, Chris username. And mm. what's your fear? My fear is irrationality, so things that are not logical. Do I get to make it up? Okay, okay, stop. Stop. <laughs> Oh, I, there's not a rule. You have to fight another like, Vulcan in the long far. Like what? He's like, okay. a weapon. No, you just make there's it only up. One my emotions oh. must not cloud my senses, you know, right or true, you know, logical. Make thing. it up. That's my character. Yes. So, so, mine was apropos, though. Right, actually, so, I used either to be way, I'm just going to, I guess, attack it, because that's the only thing to do with your fear. Your fear is your overly emotional ex-girlfriend? Yes. You should be fearful of that. They're scary. Alright, so I'm gonna just use Elger's Blast. Of course, I'm gonna shout out somewhere you're depriving the village of its idiot. Oh, it seems to just glare at you and say, Child, when are you gonna grow up? Never. Never. Wisdom <laughs> safe. I'm, I'm a warlock. We don't grow up here. Oh, I tank that one. Oh, no. The voice of your father's disapproving tones. Uh, 18. Oh, oh you nice. say no you, nine twenty. You sense yeah. the anxiety of your childhood coming back, but you're over able to come in. Yes, right. I'm so, the dad now. <laughs> uh, so nineteen. Nineteen's a hit. Okay, so d ten. D ten plus three. Nice. Nine plus three, so that's twelve. Nice. Twelve damage. Yeah. A wise man still looks... alive, but I mean, you blast it directly in the chest. <laughs> Carrie, you're up. Yeah, okay. My only thing to fear is fear Wait, itself. Wait, this guy. So what is your fear, Carrie? <laughs> oh, white and man did you ever meet me? No. I take the and I beat him my with fear is the FBI. Mm. FBI open up. I have a fear oh, of situations God. that are difficult oh, to escape. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the, hit the ground. You oh, fall down. I'm afraid the FBI finding my history. What? I'm making it up. I fear not getting to see them aliens at the Area 51 range. It's so over my head. I'm so sorry. ET shows up. But I fear Naruto running. Okay, yeah, I'm rolling. What are you? <laughs> what are you? What are you doing? My enemy. Great roll. Eight. Six, Eighteen. What is your? What are you doing? Swing your sword. I can swing my sword. 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 My diamond. Cody, sword. help her. Cody, she yes. needs. Okay, wait. Am I attacking something? I'm so. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So Kylie. <laughs> Kylie. There is yes. a. So you're a you're a battle master, right? Yes, you have I am. Significant right? training. I in, do. So let's make that eighteen. No, she's an elder tonight. That is a that that eighteen is a tactical analysis of the situation. He's you an look and tonight, see not a battle master. hidden in the wood. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, got it, Cody. You see, there is a very large bird man, bird man. with red mangy feathers. Yes, covered in trinkets, hiding behind a tree okay. about thirty feet away. Lobbing small trinkets that are transforming into personifications of players' anxiety. Dude, that guy's awesome. And oh, that guy, my there's buddy. one large that? dwarf aberration that was just Eldritch blasted in the chest and is scowling at your dwarven friend with disapproval. So what am I gonna do? You, either do you want to attack the one throwing our fears, or do you want to try to? Attack that giant one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my magical sword and I'm gonna attack the guy that's throwing it's our fears. It's not fears. magical. And I'm gonna. <laughs> and you rolled an 18. Burn. And you did great. You rolled really good. All right, damage. So now magic. take a look at your sword. Where's so, my sword? It's a rapier. And your sword is not magical. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I'm gonna take my fierce sword. Actually, just Cody, finding, where's her sword on her sheet? Cody, where is it? Up here, attack. You right can attack. I, I'm so bad at this. So roll your D8. It's a fencing. Roll this right here. Roll this right here. He told me my sword wasn't magical. It's not. I like him. Hey, I say thank you. D8. Now what am I doing? Roll it. Roll. What do you get? I got a three. So three that's plus, plus five. Six. Plus oh, five. Oh, that's plus five. I forgot eight. Eight points damage. Yep. Okay. So you run. You basically see this. No, no, Erico, that's not it. That's not that, red. That's a night hat. Erico, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? This is this is the boss. I'm sorry. Spoilers. Let's see that boss really quick. The hat. So, well, not good. Oh, it's my mom. So there's a large right. bird man. You run in and stab him with your rapier. The he then. What is he it doing? was Fishman Shiro. Shiro. <laughs> it was. It was the thing from the shape of water. It so, was Fishman. Uh, Carrie. <laughs> yes. Make a DC 13 it was wisdom Sigmund saving Freud. throw. Yep. Well, I remember. Is that? Is that? Well, which one is that? This is uh, Kavidi's fear gaze. Yeah. D20. Okay, I got it. An eight again. Okay. Bing. And so you're trying to get to 13. You need to add your um, wisdom bonus, which I think is three. So that's 11. So that's no good. Okay. So you are currently frightened. I'm frightened. I'm, I'm in fear. fear. Yes. I mean, you yeah. want to run away? I want to hear. Show her what frightened does, Cody. Can you pull yeah. that up? I'm frightened. 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 She has a phone. I don't need to buy anymore. So frightened means you can't go closer to him willingly. He's one of the best uh, And uh, you. Then he's going to throw. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Throw two trinkets. One of, one of which turns into Travis's. No, wait, what do they turn into? We already have Travis's guy. One turns into a giant spider. And does the other one turn into a giant spider? And one of them turns into. Something. It's for the druid. Oh, the giant spiders from the druid? After they fought, I, we, were, we were running them through a ghost of salt marsh. Mm -hmm. Oh, Denzel's afraid of a logical thing, so it turns into my wife. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> it, turns into, it turns into a. It turns into an eye and a rational number.